Hello Internet, I've just created a new plugin for Touch Designer called Mirror Effect. This plugin, you can generate a mirror-like reflective effect based on simple settings, completely ready to use. And since it's integrated with Touch Designer, we can animate it or make it interactive. I have a surprise. This mirror effect will be available on my Patreon, and you can purchase it without a subscription in the shopping section. As a bonus, the first 25 people to acquire it will get a 50% discount until the quota is filled. Chapter 1. Overview. I'll give you an overview of how I'm applying this new plugin effect I've created in Touch Designer. To start, let's look at the component itself. I've added some content to demonstrate how the filter applies in various examples. After showing you these examples, we'll go through each parameter of this component. The settings are quite straightforward, and the plugin, it's ready to use as always. The first example, and the simplest, is applying the effect to an image. This mirror effect is often used in Photoshop, but what's interesting here is that it's fully parametric. We can add animations and customize the type of mirror effect we want. I also created some examples using other favorite plugins of mine like Chromatic Delusions and Pseudo Liquids. Let's dive in. I'll use this image, select the base component, and then show you the parameters we have to manipulate the effect. The first is the resolution, which clearly should match the resolution you're working with in your project. Next, the key parameters are the displacement in X and Y. I'll set the metallic and roughness values to zero to have the effect in its simplest version. Now with the displacement, you can adjust the deformation in the X and Y axes, providing this reflective and distorted sensation to the image. With the smooth parameter, we can achieve a slightly more subtle movement, and we can also shift it. You can use any values you like, but at some point, the image will become too distorted. Next, look at the Texture tab. Here, I've created a metallic reflection to add depth and enhance the mirror effect. The metallic and roughness parameters are useful to simulate a subtle reflection on the edges of these glass-like panels. Additionally, I've created an ambient light that helps tint the colors of the effect, providing a bit of post-processing for the final result. For example, you can add a subtle red effect, making the result more interesting. Finally, we can adjust the tile values to manipulate the number of divisions or mirrors we want to create. The offset function allows us to shift the mirrors, generating movement. This movement can be fast or slow, depending on how you use the smooth movement parameter to slow down or speed up the motion. In the About tab, you'll find the plugin's name and last update date. This effect looks best with certain images, but you can tweak settings to suit other visuals as well. To use the mirror effect, connect any image to the first input, and you have an output where you'll see the final result. You can also create your own effects using different settings. Let me show you how. I manipulate the displacement effect with two ramps, but you can use external ramps to customize settings. I'll connect this ramp here and add more color points. We can start moving the color points to find different reflections. You can also use colors in the ramp, providing more options to generate distinct results, changing the effect's overall feel. You can also animate these ramps. Finally, we can use different parameters in the ramp options, like horizontal, vertical, radial, and circular, to dramatically change the final result of the image or video. You can find this plugin on my Patreon. Please subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to like and hit the bell icon. I hope you enjoy this new plugin. See you in the next video.